Hey, you are never too far gone. My name is Play Eruption, and welcome back to the raft. Now, when we left off, uh, we really expanded our raft. I believe we have to go across the front here, and I believe that's the last expansion I planned on doing. Um, so the goal for this episode, or what I want to get done this episode, whether we will or not, I want to do some island exploring. Like, I want to dock on an island, I want to dive down, because if you guys don't know, in this game, there's a ton of natural resources, like metal and copper, that you collect at the bottom, or like, I don't want to say the bottom, it's basically under the water around an island. It's kind of like, there's always like, at every island you go to, there's reefs. And that's like basically where you're finding stuff. So yeah, that's what I want to do for this episode is explore some reefs, get some materials. Beat.gov is, or beat.co, what did I name it? Beat.co, I think. Beat.co is coming along great. I refuse to plant anything but beets. It's beat.co. We're not going to become potato co or garden co. We're going to be beat.co. Dat gum it. Wait a sec. Didn't I have a sale on this last time? And didn't I complete the raft last time? I could have swore I had a sale on here. And my anchor hole's gone. I had a hole. My game didn't save, did it? Crap! That took me way longer to realize than I probably should have. I had like a hole right here for the anchor, and I had a daggum sale. Flippin' A, and now we gotta do it again. I, I thought it was weird. I didn't say anything, but I'm like, oh, that's right, we're in the middle of construction. But we finished construction. We even built the sail, because we sailed over that one raft. Dang it! Stupid game. Freaking you little buggers haven't changed at all. Dang nabbit. Alright, well, oh well. You win some, you lose some. Well, crap. Okay, well, the new plan is to get everything ready to go to an island. Then maybe go to an island. We'll see how quickly we can rebuild everything. Alrighty, well, that is the raft complete again. Now we're gonna save the world. Piece of crap. Okay, well, let's make an anchor hole. I may... Oh, I am done. Well, guess what, buddy? We're gonna eat these nasty potatoes and get them out of our inventory. And then it's all straight with the beat heaven. Just keep munched on those delicious beets. There is our throwable anchor. So I gotta make it like a hole for the anchor. I'd like to do it here just because it's, it'd be really hard for him to break. So when it's time, I'm gonna break this block. I also should make a stone axe, which I need a lot of wood. Let's just collect some wood for a minute. I'm gonna save the world now because son of a gun, the game doesn't like doing that. I could have swore there was an auto save feature in this. Maybe I just forgot to click save world and I quit the game. That is probably more likely than anything else, honestly. If I'm gonna be real honest, I probably just didn't click something that I should have. <sighs> yeah, what a beautiful night's sleep. Uh, let's get some of our seawater that's been boiled there, purified, and then let's eat, let's harvest and eat some beets. That's my go-to breakfast meal. I just eat beets. I don't even cook them, I just eat them raw. I have a bag right next to my pantry. I just pour raw beets into a bowl of milk and just eat them like cereal. So actually, truth be told, we could go for this island. Let's angle our sail right there and let's just start heading for that island. We will actually end up um, doing the, uh, doing some island exploration or some reef exploration because um, I got everything built back rather quickly. Um, yeah, so we'll explore some reefs like intended and hopefully get a lot of sand and clay. For those of you who don't know, where is it? What Make a smelter. But we need seven because you have to research a dry brick and then so oh what it says wet brick but when you put it on the deck of your boat it turns into a dry brick you research one of those and then you need six of them to make a furnace which will allow us to cook down metal and copper it really kind of helps progress the game all right let's place this sucker down boom and then when we get a little bit closer we'll drop this sucker eh. boom so we should be pretty stationary now okay Let's do some island exploration, then we'll kill the shark and do some reef exploration. Got some watermelons up here we can pick, and then sometimes there are chests at the top of these islands. This is a pretty small island, honestly. There are only two trees on it. Usually there's a lot more. But let's go ahead and let's kill the shark, and then... Oh, we got a coconut. Let's kill the shark and let's explore the reef, because see, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that stuff right on there is clay. We need that stuff. So, um, eat some watermelons. Just get your stamina topped off. And we're going to go shark hunting. Got two spears. Uh, Let's go show that shark who's boss. Eating my crops? You dumb thing. I killed it. What? I didn't know you could kill them. This is a good day. Where is that shark at? <laughs> so, we're going to leave him there because he should keep anything else from spawning in while I do a little bit of cave splunking. Yes, I come here in my copper and my iron and metal. So this is metal right down here, this beautiful stuff down here. And it's kind of annoying, but you can make like how hard it is to get metal. Like I have my oxygen tank, 
or my oxygen right there. You can make oxygen tanks, and that's super useful because you can stay down here a lot longer. You can make fins so you move quicker, but very, very useful. Give me all this stuff. Okay, I got a little bit of metal and a little bit of copper. I mostly want to get sand and clay because, no. What is it? Is it sand and clay? Sand and clay to make um, bricks so I can make a smelter. That's kind of the prime goal down here, just sand and clay. I'm pretty sure as long as his body, I'm sure his body will despawn in a little bit, but as, for, as far as I know, as long as his body doesn't despawn, I don't believe another shark will spawn in. Unless they updated that or that information is wrong. Deckham Seagull. That's two. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get them. And I have off two of them. Alrighty, let's make a ton of clay bricks and see if I need any more sand or clay. And then let's get on out of here. I believe I need one more piece of sand and I've got enough clay bricks because we have to research one and that burns one. Okay, excellent. I need one more piece of sand and then I am good to go because that'll be all the clay and sand I need to get a smelter. So give me one piece of sand, please. I just need one. All right, we've got all the sand. I actually got a little bit of extra sand because when you smelt sand, it turns into glass and that can be used in some items as well. So let's go back. Let's make our final brick and let's cut the anchor. We're good here. I need some plastic so I can make another storage container. Hey, oh, I should have harvested the shark, dadgummit. Why didn't I do that? That would have been a ton of free meat. Oops. All righty, we're doing pretty daggum good. We got all of our bricks set up. We got the gardens rolling. Beat.co is going on strong. Boom, we've got ourselves a storage con... Where the heck am I going to put this second one, though? It's going to be weird if I just stack it. Okay, I don't care. It looks weird. I know, I know. I, I just don't care. Oh, hey, these things are finally dry. Yes. Okay, so we need to put one of them in here. Boom. And that unlocks the smelter. I keep wanting to say forge, but it's a smelter. So one more dry brick and then some scrap and some nails. How much scrap? Oh, I got plenty of scrap and that makes us nails. Uh, so as soon as this brick, oh, boom, we've got ourselves a smelter. Awesome to the awesomest to the awesome. So now we're going to shove four planks down there. Excellent. Let's celebrate by cooking some drumsticks. So let's cook down some metal. Paintbrush and a hammock unlocked. Neat. Oh, our metal ingot is done. Let's put another one in here to get it cooking. And then let's research a metal ingot and unlock some stuff. All right, we got a hinge, a bolt. I believe that's a metal arrow, a flipping grill. Nice. So now I can make all of these good stuffs. And the bolt and the hinge unlock some really good stuff as well. What I need for that grill, though, that grill is looking tempting. I can open up a barbecue and cook beets at a rapid rate. Well, that's easy to make. Alrighty, well, I am going to end this episode here. I'm really happy with this episode. I've gotten a lot done. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure if you have something you're going to play, you post it in the comments so I can take a look at it. But remember, love runs the world. So don't forget to run the world.